Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my February favorites. And I am very late putting this up. I usually put this up like at the very end of the month or at least by the first of the month. But I had so many other videos that I had to film and I just kind of got caught up and I didn't have time to film my February favorites. So better late than never, right? So I'm not going to spend too much time on my intro. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into what I have been loving for this past month of February. So if you want to see all of the products that I have been loving, then go ahead and keep on watching. This eyelash is really bugging me right now. Oh my gosh, these are bugging me. you guys about is this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. So if you don't know me, I am the type of person who like to have a cleanser that does not burn my eyes, even if it's just a facial cleanser. I don't want anything that's going to burn my eyes because I really want to just really clean my face really good and not have to worry about that product burning my eyes. So this does not do that. It's very, very gentle on the skin and it removes my makeup so quick. Like I don't even have to have this set on my face. I can just put it on a cloth. Um, I usually put it on like a little cotton pad and I just put it on my eyes or my face and it just wipes it off. It just melts all of my makeup so quick and I love that. Alright, and the next product I want to tell you guys about is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This setting spray is really for oil control. I don't really have oily skin, but when I put on my makeup and throughout the day, it seems like my face gets really oily. So this has helped me. This has saved my life. I put this on after I put on my makeup. I don't put this on before. You guys know that when I am doing my makeup, I tend to put on the MAC um, Fix Plus before I put on my foundation. But with this stuff, I use it after just so it can lock in all of my makeup and just so it won't, you know, just move around throughout the day. So I feel like this has been my go-to setting spray, especially since the weather is getting a little bit warmer outside. I think this is the best stuff to use. I actually got this a few weeks back. I want to say maybe like a month back. And I recently been using it daily. So if you guys have been watching my new series on my channel, it is my Shop My Makeup Stash. I actually use this for one full week and I have been obsessed with this and some of the products that I'm going to tell you guys about are actually products that I mentioned in shop my makeup stash so if you don't know what shop my makeup stash is head on over to my previous videos and find my makeup stash week one two and three and watch those videos so this has not steered me wrong I am obsessed with this all right now we're going to move on to makeup brushes I never really tell you guys what my favorite makeup brushes are so I feel like now is the time to go ahead and let you guys know what my favorite makeup brushes are are and what they've been for this past month of February. I recently purchased the new e.l.f. foundation brush. They have a, quite a few new products on their website. They don't have this one in stores yet, not that I know of, but this is called the Selfie, hold on, let me, let me look it up. All right, so it's called the Selfie Ready Foundation Brush. And you guys, these brushes are amazing, especially their new brushes. Their old makeup brushes, I'm not much of a big fan on those, but the brand new ones that they're coming out with, you guys, these are amazing. You have to get your hands on these ASAP. They are so soft, like the bristles do not shed. I've used this brush at least four times already and I've washed it one time. The first time I washed it was actually the first day before I used the brush. I like to wash my brushes before I use them. Honestly, you don't know where these brushes been. So girl, wash your makeup brush before you use them. But anyway, I washed it before I used it and I did not experience any shedding. We'll see how it goes um, the more and more I use it and the more and more I wash it. And I will definitely keep you guys updated but this brush is amazing. It's so soft. Like, I cannot get over how great of a quality this brush is. And it's only $6. $6, you guys. All right, and the next brush I want to tell you guys about is this little brush. This is also by e.l.f. And I think this is the Kabuki brush, I want to say. Um, but it has, it's really skinny. It's not like a full Kabuki brush. It has like a narrow shape to it. And I use this to contour and bronze my face with. And this works like a dream. I have not really been touching my NARS Ida brush because this has been my go-to brush every single day. But yeah, definitely pick this brush up. And if I'm not mistaken, they do have the same exact brush at Sephora so if you guys are wanting something very inexpensive elf is where you need to go you guys I'm not even kidding if you want a brush that's gonna do 
do just as good as like Morphe or Sephora or even Sigma brushes, try the e.l.f. brushes first. Just try them. Especially their new new line of brushes. Not their old ones. I'm sorry, e.l.f., but your old brushes are not that good. But the new brushes that they have brought out, try those and, girl, try them. Let me know what you think about them when you do try them. All right, you guys, let me tell you guys about these lashes. If you watch me frequently, you know these are my favorite lashes. These are the Ardell Double Up Double Wispy Lashes. And you guys, these have been my go-to lash for the longest. I am actually wearing them right now. This one right here has been giving me trouble because I was actually trying to rush to do my makeup and put on my lashes real quick. And I kind of messed up on this one. But you guys, these are so natural and they are so, so light. Um, the lash band on them are very thin, which is what I love. I don't really like lashes that'll have that really thick black lash line because it's not comfortable on the eye, but these are so comfortable. It's like when you're wearing them, it's like you're not wearing lashes at all. And they give you a really natural look. It's like you're not wearing lashes at all, like I just said. And what I also love about these lashes is they're only like $5. You guys, $5. I don't think I will spend any more money on some high-end lashes simply because these are just as good as high-end lashes. I just can't see myself paying $20 or more for lashes, not even $15 for lashes. And I, I know I'm really cheap, but you guys, lashes, if you are looking for a really good, just a good quality lash that is very comfortable on the eyes, that you can wear, and that's very natural looking, but still has that glam look to them, Ardell Lashes is where you need to go. And these, again, are the Double Up Double Wispies. Love them. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to tell you guys about are these eyeshadows. These are my Carity eyeshadows. I did upload a video on these eyeshadows. So if you want to know more about these and just see me do some swatches and all of that, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check out that video. They're so creamy, so pigmented, and this the colors are amazing. I haven't really been reaching for these shadows much lately because I kind of forget about some of the stuff that I have in my makeup collection, which is why I do these Shop My Stash videos so that I can reach for products more than what I used to. And I've actually been reaching for this baby a lot lately. I also want to let you guys know that these shadows are like $5 a piece, which is why, which is another reason why I love them so much because they're so inexpensive, but they are such great quality. And I also have an amazing coupon code for you guys if you are wanting to get these. Um, I'll have it linked down below if you are interested. $5 for one shadow plus some money off. Come on, girl. You need to get your hands on them ASAP. Another product that I've been loving this past month is the City Color B Matte Blush. I have not tried any of these blushes. I always see them everywhere. I see them all over, all over Instagram, all over YouTube, but I've never tried them out. And they are so, so, so inexpensive. I want to say they're like $4. I'm not sure, but these were sent to me, and you guys, I am obsessed with this color in particular. This is in the color Hibiscus. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't, I just can't even. This is the perfect everyday blush. I do have it on right now. It's not too bright. It's one of those blushes that you can just throw on and go. And it's just such a beautiful, nice, subtle pink slash burnt orange color. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's like a pink slash burnt orange color. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. This color is perfect, so I am obsessed. All right, and the next products I want to tell you guys about are these lip liners. You guys know that I am so obsessed with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Liners. Two in particular. I have one in the color Ultimate. This one is the perfect brown lip liner. If you are looking for just a nice, perfect brown lip, this is what you need in your life. Um, this is perfect paired with MAC photo or if you just want to wear this alone this is the perfect brown lip girl i am obsessed with this and i love these because they twist up and another color that i am obsessed with is the color um this one is in the color rich i swear this is like my signature color this is that 
beautiful mauve plum shade and I am obsessed with this color. This is great paired with any type of mauve lip, liquid lipstick or lip gloss. Even if you just want to wear this color alone as well, this is the perfect everyday color. And I also love them because they are long lasting. I do have a few lip liners in my collection that I'll put on and then throughout the day I don't see it anymore because they just, I don't know if they just soak into my lips or they just fade away. I don't know. But these, these are there all day, girl. I put this on in the morning time and throughout the day I can still see that I have on a lip liner and it's amazing. All right, now moving on to some random favorites. I want to tell you guys about two apps that I have been obsessed with. It's not even just for the month of February. It's just been for the past few months, I want to say. I think I started using these back in... November I want to say it was either October or November but I have been so obsessed with these apps because they save my life girl do you hear me these apps save my life the first app I want to tell you guys about is called free my apps and if you are not familiar with free my apps it's basically an app that you download and you just download different apps on that app so this is what it looks like. This is the home page and it's showing that I have one app that I can download. It usually has like a whole list of apps that you can download, but lately I've been downloading them like crazy just to get some points. Um, but let me go ahead and let you guys know how this works. What you do is open up the app and then you'll have just a lot of lists of apps and each app is worth so many points. Like this one right here, for instance, this is called Falling Fred Z. And all you do is click on the app and let it stay open for 30 seconds, you guys, and then you earn points. And this one is worth 48 points. So all you do is click on it, let it stay open for at least 30 seconds, and there are your points. And the your points will show up right here. And it looks, and right here I have over 1,800 points. But every time I hit 3,000 points, I cash that in for a Sephora gift card. And I'll show you guys all of the stuff that you can actually cash your points in. It has a whole list right here. So you can get like Amazon gift cards. You can get Best Buy. You can get Starbucks. You can get Hulu. It's just so many. Oh, it's just so many. And this is my baby right here. Sephora. Every time I hit 3,000 points, I go ahead and immediately get that Sephora gift card. And it's just a $10 Sephora gift card, but it adds up. I literally have cashed in four times for four Sephora gift cards. So in total, I have $40 worth of Sephora gift cards sitting in my Apple wallet. Girl, what are you doing with your life? Do you not have this app? If you are like me and you love to shop at Sephora, this is what you need in your life. And also, if you're wondering, okay, well, how much is this app? What do I have to do? What's the catch? There's no catch. It's free. It is absolutely free. So if you are interested in getting this app, I'll go ahead and leave it down below in my description box. Just click on the link, download it to your phone, and there you go. Just go ahead and download different apps. Like I said, you only have to have it open for 30 seconds and you get the points. And I also want to let you guys know when you download these apps and open them for 30 seconds, you can easily just delete that app after you download it so that it won't be taking up so much space in your phone. So don't keep the apps on your phone unless you really like that app. I usually delete all of the apps that I download. The only app that I did not delete, which is the app, another app that I want to tell you guys about, is called Shopkick. You guys, let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is what Shopkick is. You open it up and oh, it just gave me one kick just by opening it up. But this was actually an app that popped up on free my apps and I think it was worth 65 points. So I downloaded it and opened it up for at least 30 seconds and I got my 65 points and I was like, you know what? I kind of hear, I actually hear people talk about this app. Let me see how it is. So I didn't even delete the app. I went ahead, created an account and I actually went into, I think it was, what was it? CVS. And I actually earned some points just by walking into CVS. It's just so many stores on here that they have on this app that you can just go in. Once you step foot inside that store, you get points just by stepping in. So this is what you can get when you earn points. And of course, I picked a Sephora gift card. They have so many gift cards, so many things that you can cash in for your points. And I always get the Sephora gift card because... 
I love Sephora. I love shopping in Sephora and I don't really like to spend my own money when I go shopping. So I always like to spend either gift cards or use coupons. I like to shop in a smart way if that kind of makes sense. So once I hit 2,500 kicks, I get a Sephora gift card which is worth $10. So no, I'm not really splurging on makeup and going broke while splurging on makeup. I shop smart. So if you want to shop smarter, definitely go ahead and download those two apps. They're so easy. That is the easiest way to get gift cards. And even if you don't want to get Sephora gift cards, you can get Starbucks gift cards. You can get a Best Buy gift card. You can get Amazon gift card. You can get an eBay gift card. They have so many options on there. But of course, I picked Sephora because I love shopping at Sephora and I need something that's going to support my shopping habit at Sephora. And that really helps me out. So those are the two apps that I have been loving, that I have been obsessed with. So check those those apps out and like I said I'll have them down below if you guys are interested in downloading those all right guys so that is all of my monthly favorites I hope I did not drown you guys out and have you guys sleeping by the end of this video if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys